Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am here to do the Q&A video. Alrighty, so let's begin. Um, okay, so the first question is from Love Journals. Um, her question was, what is your favorite journal you have used? Alrighty. So, that was hard to choose because there's several journals I've um, really enjoyed using. So, I'll begin with the first leather journal I used. I got stuck, sorry. Which was this one. Um, I don't know, I just really, really, really enjoyed using this journal. I really enjoyed the size and I don't know I guess I was super excited to use it because it was my first leather journal and the paper was different and I don't know I just really enjoyed this journal a lot and as well as this leather journal like I guess this is like the size I really really enjoy it. I like any size I it doesn't bother me or anything but I don't know like I just really enjoy leather journals and this size of leather journals I don't know <laughs> but yeah this too and also of course the one I made is one of my favorites as well because like I've mentioned in other of my videos I made it and I was very excited in making it and since I made it I was super excited to use it and stuff so yeah this is another favorite that I really enjoyed and of course the one that Stacy sent me I'm still halfway um, through this one. I'm not done using it, but I'm enjoying it so, so much. Sorry, that was my phone. But I'm really, really enjoying it, like, a lot because, like, every page is different. So, I don't know, it's just so fun to see what page is coming next and what am I going to do with the next page. And there's, like, different size of paper and different, I don't know, it's just... A really really fun journal that I'm really really enjoying and it's different than anything I've used so that's super super cool and exciting so yeah those are my favorite journals that I've really enjoyed now the next question is from Stacy Sorry, Stacy. I, I don't want to pronounce your name because I'm not sure if I'll pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I don't know. You know, <laughs> my English is not good, so I'm afraid I won't pronounce it correctly. Um, Stacy's question is... Um, who, inspired, um, who inspired you to start journaling? That's her first question, and I don't know, like, I started journaling because I remember back in, like, early high school or so, was it middle school or early high school, um, the school provided us with, um, what are they called, agendas or planners, and I remember I would always write in the planner, like, on the date, stuff that happened. Like, oh, today this guy told me this or that. Or today me and my friend went to do this and that. I was always, like, not every single date, but when something, like, special or funny or stuff like that happened, I would write it down on my planner on the date that happened. And... I don't know, stuff, like, special stuff was happening, and I thought to myself, I don't want to forget this. How can I, like, keep this memory? And I wanted to, like, kind of write it down, so I was like, you know what? I need a journal. I need something to start writing, 
like stuff like what's going on like special things that are happening so that's how i remember like buying a journal like that's the reason i remember why i first bought a journal i wanted to keep like everything so yeah <laughs> i will post um i don't have my agendas right now with me but i will post some pictures of my agendas on instagram if you're interesting interested to see that her next question is does anyone in your family journal and what do they think of it um no no one nobody else journals from my family and they think it's they think it's pretty cool and awesome that i'm doing this i remember the first time i showed my grandparents like my journals i let them like flip through them and stuff and they thought it was really cool like they were so excited and they were so interested in looking through my pages and the stuff i had glued and like when i first told them i didn't thought they were gonna be that interested in it i thought they were gonna say oh that's nice but no they were actually like really excited to see each of like my grandma like she flipped through every single of my journals like she went through each of them she didn't read anything she was like just flipping it like through each kind of page but she wasn't reading anything plus many of the things is in english and she only speaks spanish so yeah but she was just going through every single like she was so interested about it that she was like flipping through every page and i thought that was pretty cool so yeah and her other question actually well my mom did made a journal for me when i was little like she wrote stuff about me that i was doing and stuff like that i've i've made a flip of that but that was really the only journal she did and i think many parents do that or i don't know but um that's the only journal that she she has made so yeah that i know of <laughs> And and then Stacy also asked, outside of journaling, what do you collect? Um, let's see. Oh, so I used to collect um keychains. I don't know. They really like caught my attention and I remember that I started like buying um key change from the places I traveled to or went to so yeah this I have a bunch of them so yeah these are some of the keychains I like this one. This is from like on the what is it called? Like a fair thing where they do the keys. That was me and one of my ex boyfriends from ooh, back in high school <laughs> a long time ago. This is when Disney celebrated their fifth anniversary. So yeah, um I was collecting when I have some of these also keychains but then I thought I'm just collecting them and like I just have them like right there I'm not using them and like I don't know I thought I ended up not collecting this one so oh my goodness this one fell off I'll fix that later but then I decided that instead of collecting keychains I wanted to collect um what are they called like the magnets um from the places i traveled but i just recently starting started collecting magnets so i don't really have many of them but i have this one and 
I have this one. This is the Frida. I, this was her last painting she did from Frida Kahlo. I got it when I went to her museum in Mexico. And I also got this one because like you all know I love Frida. <laughs> and then lastly I have this one. Like I said, I just recently started collecting the magnets. Because I thought instead of collecting keychains, like I'm not going to use every single keychain. So I thought I might collect um, magnets instead because I can put them in my fridge and stuff. So yeah, those are the ones I have so far. And that's pretty much all I collect. I also have some postcards but I also just recently started collecting postcards since the time I started collecting these ones so I don't have many of them but I, I will still post a picture of them on all this ones like it's like a little puzzle so it kind of, all the pieces <laughs> like can come out and stuff like that I'll just put them back later um I'll put a picture on Instagram of my my postcards. Alrighty. The next question is from Candied Crafter. And her question is do you like to do any crafts? Um, I do, but I haven't really done much lately. Like, um, like I said, I really enjoyed making the the journals. I thought that's pretty fun. The only thing I don't like about making the journals is um, coffee or tea staining the pages. Because it takes forever, like, I feel like it takes forever, I don't know. And, I don't know, but I love to have coffee stain pages, so I, I have to do it. I can't skip that step, you know, because it makes the pages look cool. So, yeah, but I really enjoy, like, the sewing of the journal and stuff. I'm not so good at it yet because I'm still <laughs> practicing but I like that and also I like oh wait I didn't read all her questions do you like to do any crafts and what are my hobbies okay oh and I also like to do work with ceramic or clay um this is something I've created which I really, really liked. It's a little angel. And I've done a um, Frida flower base. I don't know if I've showed you guys that one. But yeah. Oh, I think I posted it in a picture on Instagram if you want to check that out. And I've done other stuff like a mug um, and uh, other little stuff. But I really enjoy doing that as well. It's only a little hard to be creating that stuff because you need, like, the ceramic, the clay, and, like, all that stuff. It's a whole big process, but I really, really enjoy doing that. And I also, for my, like, hobbies and stuff, I enjoy reading. Like, I really like to read in my free time. And... The current books I'm reading right now are The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and The Color Purple by Alice Walker and A Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown. These books are pretty intense. Like, I'm gonna need a really, really happy book after this. <laughs> So if you have any recommendations, go ahead and write it down in the comments below. So yeah, 
And I love to paint. <laughs> of course, I really enjoy painting. Um, so, I've done this one, which is um, oil paint on canvas. And then, this is like a whole set of four. And then it's this one, and then it's converting into a butterfly. And then we have the butterfly. So yeah. And then... I've also made a distorted... Um, painting. This is wood. It's um oil paint on wood, and it's a distorted um picture or image of a lady from a magazine. So yeah, that's why it has like a big nose, a little eye, and bigger eye. <laughs> so yeah, I just like the colors. And I think I've showed this before many times. I've done this one. This is also oil paint on canvas. Yeah. There's that. And I have I have more paintings. Like down there that I haven't finished but <laughs> yeah you need to work on those still okay my time is I'm running out of time I need to hurry up and she's also um candid crafter also asked if I like to cook or bake yes I, I like to cook and bake but mostly I bake like on like holidays. I like to make themed um stuff. I wish I had pictures of the stuff I made, but I only found if I can find them. I only found like these pictures. Maybe if I find more pictures of stuff I've made I'll show it. This was a while back. This was when I still lived in Mexico. Like, I made a Halloween cake. It's supposed to be like a graveyard. It has Oreo cookies, um, like, on top and stuff. And th I made this salad. It was also Halloween-themed because I love Halloween. I don't know if it's focusing. It was like supposed to be like the web and there's a spider in the middle and stuff. But yeah, that's the kind of things I like to create, like themed, like food, you know. If it's Valentine's, I like to create like cupcakes with the Valentine's theme. That's what I enjoy doing the most and that's when I bake. Like I don't bake every day or anything, but I just bake when there's like a special theme or holiday so yeah um i wish i had other pictures but they're on another memory card from my other phone and i have an iphone now so i can't put the memory in here or anything so yeah sorry about that Alrighty. So, I need to hurry up because I don't have much battery. The next question is... Let me find it. I had it on my phone and now... Okay, the next question is from Brian and Amanda. And her question is... What journal supplies do I use? Alrighty. Um, for journal supplies, I use anything and everything I can. Like, pictures, um, 
designer paper. If I could flip through this. Um, I like using washi tape. These are the ones that I recently bought from Hobby Lobby. And I just love these ones. Look at the watermelon. <laughs> yeah, they're so fun. Um, I like to use magazine cutouts and stuff to make collages because I really, really enjoy to make collages. So, yeah. And, oh, they're heavy. <laughs> um... I also have some stickers in here and some of the tags that Stacy handmade, which are lovely. I love them. I just want to like frame them and display them. Like, I don't know, they're just so beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have some stickers in here. So I like using stickers. Um, hold on, guys. I like using canes and stamps. Um, I use the cheap acrylic paint from Walmart for my journals because I use. I like to use a lot of paint in my journals, so it would get really expensive if I would buy expensive. Plus, I love this one. It's like, they're pretty cool. I love this one. <laughs> and the gold one as well, the metallic gold one. But yeah, these are pretty nice paints. I really enjoy these ones. I like using watercolors, watercolors as well. Um... In this one, I have lots of lovely things that stay seasoned that I need to use. But I, I want to find like a good, <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain, like, a, I don't want to just use it. Like, they're so pretty that I want to find special time for it. And I just have a lot of magazine cutouts that I've cut that I really want to use, but I still haven't in here so yeah but i basically like to use anything like oh i forgot to bring my markers and pencils and pens and stuff i forgot it sorry <laughs> um but yeah i use basically anything 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 and everything even as you saw like I like to put flowers and leaves, pressed leaves. Um, pictures. But yeah, many things. Anything. <laughs> But yeah, guys, alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Mm, maybe later I will make another one, just in case any of you have any other questions. But, yeah, I will be doing a flip of this one pretty soon, like, um, as soon as I'm done with this video. And this one... Like I said, I'm halfway done with this one. Like, I still have some more to fill. But yeah. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you. Thank you, ladies, for all your questions. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.